your Ryobi driveway cleaner attachment making these strange crop circles instead of cleaning your driveway? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to fix it permanently. Last year I purchased this Ryobi driveway cleaner attachment for electric power washers. The purpose of which to help speed up cleaning the driveway, sidewalks, and patios around the house. And quite frankly, I got mixed results. Now, it cleaned when it worked, but I had to fight with it to make it work. Shortly after purchasing it, I set out to clean the driveway. And this was in August of 2021. I even made a video about it. And while making that video, I started to experience problems right away. At the time, I thought maybe the spray nozzles were being clogged, so I made a second video about how to clean out the spray nozzles. I'm not afraid to admit when I'm wrong, and I was wrong cleaning out those spray nozzles was not the complete solution. Fast forward 15 months later and it's giving me a headache again. Even some viewers down in the comments section were railing this thing. This time I'm pissed and I'm gonna fix it for good. First let's check out what normal operation actually is. Check out these circles I'm making. That is the spray pattern of the nozzles underneath. Both nozzles underneath are angled to provide a rotational force to spin. As you push or pull the cleaner, the spinning nozzles create these overlapping circles of clean surface. Here I'm pointing out the cleverness of the Ryobi marketing team. This 12 inch cleaner actually cleans 10 inches. I've come to the conclusion there's a water leak somewhere or even multiple water leaks. Reason being you can still see the spray nozzle cleaning the concrete. It's just not spinning. First I take apart the quarter inch quick coupler. There's a screw in the end there. Just wanted to make sure there was nothing fishy going on. Turns out nothing to see here. Moving on. Next, I remove the four screws that hold the wand stop cover on top. While I'm at it, I'm going to also remove the two screws that hold the wand to the base. Finally, I remove the rotating spray nozzles. We'll set that aside for now, but we'll come back to it later. Next, let's take apart this base piece here. This is where the wand attaches to the base. Our goal here is to really track the water flow from your pressure washer all the way to the end of the spray nozzles and make sure there is absolutely no water leaks whatsoever. Give it a nice firm tug to separate those two parts. It will be snug because there are a couple of O-rings in there. All right, so let's track the water flow here as the water comes down the wand and through the base. It makes its way through this rotating piece, which is sealed off by some O-rings. The water makes a 180 degree turn here and exits through the other side of the base. Water takes another 90 degree turn and heads out the bottom of the base. I'm going to put this part back together and attach it to my pressure washer to check for leaks. The goal here is to check for any leaks around the rotating base. A leak here is not easily detected because it's obscured by the plastic cover. As I move the wand handle back and forth, I notice a slight leak in the rotating assembly. I disassemble the rotating base once again and inspect the O-rings. The outermost O-ring looks like it's split where it was bonded together. Lucky for me, I picked up this rubber o-ring kit from Amazon about two years ago. I use a pick to remove the outermost o-ring. I didn't use much pressure at all and the o-ring split. I inspected the innermost o-ring and it appeared to be okay, but while we're here, might as well replace both of them. Looks like the kit has a direct replacement that matches up perfectly. Slide on both the new O-rings, the innermost and outermost, using the pick to help assist. Be careful here not to stretch out the O-ring too far. You're going to create more headache for yourself. Don't forget to add a little silicone grease to help seal the O-rings. Time for reassembly. You should hear a good firm click when those O-rings pop into place. Okay, time to verify if our new O-rings actually fix the leak. Looks good. I'm satisfied with that work. 
Okay, moving on, let's check out this rotating spray nozzle here. First item of business is to inspect the O-rings. And to my eye, these O-rings look good. <laughs> they should. I mean, this cleaner attachment is basically new. So I reassemble everything except for the plastic cover on top. And take a look at the speed that this spray nozzle is actually spraying it. That is a clue that something is wrong. Did you notice the inconsistency in the speed of the rotation? As I flip the cleaner attachment vertically, I noticed water leaking around the O-rings we had just inspected. This, my friend, is our second water leak. At this point, I started tightening the main spray nozzle bolt on the bottom of the cleaner. And I kept doing it in small increments until I noticed the leak had stopped. The key here is to tighten the bolt just tight enough to stop any water leak. And that leaves just enough play for the rotating spray assembly to rotate freely. Okay, I installed the plastic cover and it's time to retest. So far so good, let's keep going. I must say after fixing those water leaks, it works better than new. I hope you found this update useful and use some of this information to help remedy your own driveway cleaner. That's gonna wrap this video up. Just remember, everybody needs a plan B. Cha-cha for now.